So now we're going to look at sewing without cutting the edges of your fabric. Overlockers can only be used to sew and finish the edges of fabrics. You can't use your overlocker to sew in the middle of a fabric. To do this, you would need a different type of machine called a cover stitch machine. Usually, when you sew with an overlocker, the fabric is trimmed just before the stitches are formed, encasing the edges of the neatly trimmed fabric. Occasionally, though, you may wish to sew without the knife engaged. This can be useful when sewing very thick fabrics or layers of fabric, like fleece, fur or toweling, where the knife might struggle to cut through all the layers. I'm going to show you an example of what happens when you sew through thick, bulky layers, trimming the edges off with the knife engaged. As you can see, the stitches are very loopy and uneven. And what can also happen is that fabric can get stuck in the knife as you're sewing. You'll need to remove the knife and also change some other settings to create perfect stitches on thicker fabrics. Change the stitch width to the highest it will go to. And also change the stitch length to the longest it will go to. This will help to provide plenty of extra thread to whip around the thick layers of fabric. As you can see, just by changing a few settings and removing the knife, you end up with a lovely, neat stitch. It can also be useful to overlock the edges of woven garments without trimming to maintain the correct seam allowances. If your knife has gone blunt as a short-term solution before replacing it, you can get away with sewing with the knife removed, as long as you don't need to trim the fabric at all. When you're ready, you can take a look at our troubleshooting advice for how to change and maintain your blades. Do take a look at our previous video, a close up of the sewing area, to learn how to remove and put back your blades.